Hello gang, welcome back to another Football Manager 2023 experiment. As promised at the end of the Great Britain experiment where we gave England, not England, we gave Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland max youth rating. I have promised this video where I give the Scottish League £100 million a season. However, rather than give it the Scottish Premier League, I've given it the lowest league in Scotland because I want to see if one, they can take over and two, can they thrive in Europe. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the action. So it's Cinch League 2 that have got all the money. It is currently ranked 132nd in the world. And the teams that are going to have all the money are Albion Rovers, Anan, Bonnie Rig Rose, Dunbar, and East Fife, Elgin City, Forfart, Stenhouse, Mir, Sterling, and Stranra. The actual Scottish Premier League is also ranked 9th. That's important to note. And the Scottish team in itself is ranked 44th. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump through. We've, we've, we've got a 100-year simulation to go at. So I think we're going to go, jump through... Initially, I'm just going to jump through five years just to see the lay of the land with the Scottish League. See if any of them, if any of the teams from since League Two have actually got to the Premier League. And yeah, see what's going on. So in 2027, here we go. We are since League Two is still ranked 132nd, and you've got a team like Anan who financially have 218 million pounds in five years. So they've spent 500 million. 250 million. What on? Not on wages. So in terms of the teams that were there, so Albion Rovers were still there, are still there. Annan is still there. Dumbarton, Elgin City, Stenhouse, Mitt and Stranra. So six of the uh, 10 teams are still in the league. So you've got Peterhead, for example, who have got £100,000. Then Stenhouse, Mitt have got £206 million. And Stranra have got £261 million. So it's been a bit of a shambles, really. Only, I can only see one team. Four far. They've gone up. Bonnie Rig Rose have seemed to have been relegated and have just faded into obscurity. £96 million. Pounds. They've got no league to speak of. Disappointing. Five years probably wasn't enough. Okay, we're going to jump through 10 more years now. It's 2037. And hopefully there's been a bit of a change. So league champions are Anan. Stenhouse Mir came second. So how much money have Anan got? £330 million. And Stenhouse Mir. So there's only two teams who are still in Cinch League 2. So Falkirk have just been relegated. That is irrelevant. So Dumbarton and East Fife were both down there. So Dumbarton and East Fife have gone up. And Forth far and Elgin City have both been promoted to the Scottish Premier League. Albion Rovers are up there as well. There we go. 15 years into the future and we are starting to see a little bit of movement. Anyone in the Premier League? Sterling. Sterling finished 7th. And Stranra in the UEFA Conference League places finishing 6th. Go on Stranra. £270 million. Anyone won the Scottish Cup? Any takers? Any takers at all? No takers whatsoever. Not to worry. Not to worry. The Scottish Cup will be coming very soon. There's the Champions Leagues. I'm not expecting anything to have happened. And of course it hasn't. So we had three back-to-back -back from Real Madrid. One in real life, to be fair. So three for Real Madrid, three for City. United, Madrid. Liverpool, Barcelona, Madrid. Liverpool, PSG. Liverpool, Barcelona, Man City. So all the big hitters there. Nothing in the Europa League. However... We've got a cup. We've got three conference leagues in a row. We've had Hibernian Rangers and Hearts, where most recently Arsenal won it, but Hibernian beat Arsenal in 2033-34. And Rangers won it in 24-25. Four Europa Conference League wins for Scottish teams. Right. We're starting. Things are started. So we're 15 years in the future. So we're going to jump through another 15. So it's 30 years in the future. See what's happening. The most recent wins are Aberdeen and Aberdeen of sort of come here and taken over a bit but we've got Stranraer, Sterling and Stenhouse made they were all down there initially but four four spaces for the Champions League and Stranraer have got there Sterling and Stenhouse mate are also in the Europa Europa League places Elgin City getting Europa Conference League Rangers finishing in eighth Anan also in the top league or far have gone back up East Five just missing out Albion Rovers but as you can see not a lot of money for East Five. Phil Foden's the manager of 4 Fire Athletic. Didn't expect that. 7k a week. So he was retired in 2036 and he... For he's, five years did nothing and he's just gone on a managing spree around Scotland. So a lot of teams are in the top two divisions and yeah, I don't think anyone's going to be down in the third tier. Oh, Bonnie Rig Rose are back. Bonnie Rig Rose are back. Why have they only got 2.8 million? Where's all this money gone? Stranraer's still got 60 million. 
they have still got quite a bit of money. I suppose it's only a hundred million a season. Are they buying? Are they spending big? Not really. What's the wages saying? They've got reasonably high wages. Willie Shanks over here, sixty-three thousand pounds a week. Never been capped for Scotland. How? He's a pretty good striker. Who's up front for Scotland then? Christoph Burrows. Playing for United. 82 caps, 38 goals. He's good. He's very good. Fair enough. The Scotland have not won any trophies either in this period of time. So, looking over the Cinch Premiership, Stranra have won it. Sterling have won it twice. It's just been all Rangers and Celtic though, really. Basically all Celtic. A couple from Rangers. Sterling have come run up a few times and Stranra. Sterling and Stranra are the ones that are making a play. Conference leagues then. Rangers have won another conference league in 2044-45. Other than that, we've not got anything for a Scottish team. Europa League. Celtic won a Europa League in 47-48. Hibernian as well. But that's it. Doubt there's any Champions Leagues. And there isn't. Again, it's just all the big teams. Right. So we're 30 years into the future at this point. We're gonna do we've got two more stops on this journey. We've got 20 more years to make it 50, and then we're gonna jump through another 50. To go far and away into the future. The 20 more years coming right up. And it's it seems to be an absolute demolishing for Stran Ra. 20 points they've won it by, and the past winners, you can see Stran Ra are on an absolute tear. Rangers and Celtic are still there. Hibernian is still there, but everybody else is basically from that lower league. Stran Ra, Sterling, Dumbarton, Aberdeen is still there. Anan, Elgin City, Albion Rovers, East Fife, and Four Far. Stran Ra on £106 million. Past winners. In the last 20 years, Aberdeen were still winning and then Stranraer have come through. And it's only Stranraer who've done anything, but they've won it for the last eight years in a row. Champions League, only three spaces. How have Rangers only qualified for the Europa League? In third. Unless Celtic have won the Europa League this season, which they have. Celtic have won the Europa League. But that doesn't bode well for the Scottish League, does it? So Europa League, so let's go back to the Conference League for the last 20 years. Rangers of Stranraer have won one. And Stranraer came running up against AGF in 2053-54. Stranraer have won one. Rangers have won another. Hibernian. Hibernian. Hibernian have won three. Go on, go on Hibernian. Uh, most recently, Celtic have won two of the last four. Hibernian have won another one there. Rangers, Celtic... We're back to where we were present day. Champions Leagues, yeah, nothing in terms of Champions Leagues. Very disappointing. Scotland are 13th. We've got another 20 World Cup put to the belt to the name now, but they have not won any international honours for the main team. The league is ranked sixth, though. The league is ranked sixth, so it's making a move. It is making a move. Uh 50 years in the future, then here we are. Um 50 more years, and let's hope that someone one team has won a Champions League. Go on, Stranra. Do you know the drill by now, gang? I leave it simming, and it simmed a few more years. So rather than just come back after 100 years as promised, you've got 106 years in total. 21-28 we are, and we're in August, so the season has started. Two games in, and Sterling... Dumbarton have won the last three, which were in the bottom league. Four far also won... Sterling, Stranra, so the past winners. Let's go back to 2072 then. And it was an era of Stranra. Stranra completed a 20-year stretch and then Celtic, ugh, boring Celtic, came back. Wrestling with Stranra for the title and Sterling popped in. Snuck it. And Anne coming third a few times. Back to Stranra, Sterling, Elgin City, and Anne. Dumbarton have come, in, come through and Anne have won a few. And Dumbarton in recent times. So an absolute overhaul for the Scottish Leagues. How are they doing financially? 600 million for Sterling Albion. A billion for Stranra. 27 million for Aberdeen. Albion Rovers only on 38 million. Let's have a look. Where's Bonnie Rig, uh, Bonnie Rig Rose? Not even here. Bonnie Rig Rose. You've let me down, Bonnie Rig. But the Championship. Rangers are down in the Championship. Didn't even check that. So Rangers have been relegated. Celtic played two, lost two. Oh, where are Bonnie Rig Rose? Bonnie Rig Rose are in the top flight! 
got body rig at the bottom, but they're in the top flight. They've won 10 championships. It's 2089 to 2121. They have been a yo-yo team. Brandon Rooney is the manager. Any descendants of Wayne? Relationship, good relationship with me. I've been on holiday for 106 years. Have we got a good relationship? Isn't that lovely? They're in the domestic leagues. They've been in the championship. They've been in the premiership for quite a few years, but they've, they've yo-yoed. But let's go back. Let's go back. Body rig rose. Come on. Oh, and they were out of the game for... Basically, they got relegated in the first season. And then it took them 30 years nearly to get back. Get back they did. And they've, they've climbed. They've scratched. They've clawed. They've got £67 million. And they've got there. They have got there. Go on, Bonnie Rig. Right, the Cinch Premiership. So we've seen quite a few teams win it. Scottish Cup, again, shared around beautifully with... All the third tier, fourth tier uh, Scottish teams. Celtic rudely interrupting the uh, era of sharing. Not to worry. Aberdeen down here. Yeah, right. Let's move on. Let's move on. So Europa. So in terms of the Conference League then, uh, we were last here in 2072-73. And has anyone won it? Stenhouse Mirror have won a Conference League. Celtic. Celtic again. And Celtic, most recently, in just, just, just last season, or well, the season before last, should I say, but they did, they did win it. So Europa Leagues, so here we go. Sterling had won the Europa League in 2072-73, so the first season, we, we were about last year in 2072, that season Sterling won it. Go on, Sterling. Stenhouse made Dumbarton have both back-to-back -back for Scotland. Four far over here in 2095-96. And that's it. So there's none more. Oh, sorry. Elgin City in 21-22. So time for Champions Leagues. So yeah, we were last here in 2072-73. So we're going to move up. Stranraer in 2080-81. Stranraer have done it. And they've done it again. Celtic have won one. Sterling versus Real Madrid in the final here. Coming runner-up on Lucky Sterling. Dumbarton, Dumbarton with, I was going to say with back-to-back, -back, with three in a row. Dumbarton have won three Champions Leagues in a row. That is an era of domination. 2101 to 2104, they were the champions of Europe. And they've won four. They've just won it in 2125 as well. Spoiler, uh, Cinch Premiership. 2101. So they, they, had, they had the best team because they, did, they were winning the leagues as well. They were winning the league at the same time. So fair play Dumbarton. Absolutely tore it up for those three years. Lots of English teams again. Then Stran Rav won another. And then the next season, lost to Chelsea in the final. Sterling, back-to-back -back runner up. And they've been runner up here against Barcelona, Chelsea, Real Madrid. Sterling have finally won it. 21-18 to 21-19. Wow. I'm going to look at the competitions because... Champions League, they've won one, but they've been runner-up five times. How unfortunate is that? But they did get one. They did get one. And Anna have won a Champions League. Dumbarton have won another. And Anne, -An, are the current Champions League holders having beaten Legia Warsaw in the final? Best part of a billion pounds Anne -An have. So, it's been a success. There's a lot of European trophies come to Scotland. Fantastic. Where is the Cinch Premiership in terms of league position? It is third. Seven teams can get into Europe. You've got a cut-off point in the top six. So the top of the top of here, top of the lower half is still getting into Europe. That is insane. That's insane. I wonder if um might be an interesting save file. Anyway, I'm too busy with Oldham. It's time then for the last hurrah. Ninth. Scotland and ninth. Don McKenzie is in charge. Have Scotland won anything? They have won a Euros and they've won a World Cup. Let's have a look at Euros then. Since the start of the save game, first time it was England, then France, France, Spain, Portugal, Spain, Belgium, Serbia. Spain, Spain, Turkey, Switzerland, Spain, Spain, Belgium, France, England, England, Belgium, Portugal, Romania, France, Portugal, Scotland beat Serbia, England... Finishing runner-up three times in four tournaments. Yeah, 21-16, Scotland won. Spain, Italy, and then most recently, it was Turkey beating Serbia. Well, 
Let's have a look at World Cups then. 2106 was when Scotland won the World Cup. And it was Argentina that won it in 2022. However, they beat Belgium. France, England, Brazil. A couple for Portugal, France, Uruguay coming up. England with a couple there. Uruguay again, Belgium. Scotland in 2106. Then China, the following tournament. Then Denmark, Belgium, France and Serbia most recently. So that's it. That's going to be a call. I'm going to call time on proceedings today, gang. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy these kind of experiments or other experiments in general on Football Manager, then please do subscribe. There's a lot there. There's a lot coming and they vary. So if you've not been here before and you don't know what's on the channel, go back and have a look at some of the experiments or the box that's about to appear at the end of this video. Um, because there'll be full playlist of them and they vary from attribute breakdowns and tests and career simulations of perfect players, career simulations of perfect potential players, hidden attribute tests, tests like this with finances, max youth ratings that I alluded to earlier in the video, loads of things and loads more coming as I mentioned. If you've got any ideas yourself, of course, as I always say, comments below, let me know what they are. I will factor them in. Thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Take care of yourselves, gang. See you soon.